We want to determine whether the following are even, odd, or neither. So what you do is you want to find first f of negative x. Once you find f of negative x, if you simplify it and you get exactly the same function as what you started with, it's even. If you put f of negative x in and you get f of x with a negative sign out in front of the whole thing, that means it's going to be odd. So for each of these, we want to first start by putting in f of negative x. Okay, so for this f of negative x, that's equal to negative x to the fourth plus seven. Anytime you have a negative that's raised to an even power, the negative is going to go away. So I get f of negative x is equal to x to the fourth plus seven. Now what I notice is that x to the fourth plus seven, that's exactly the same thing as the original one. So because it is, that means that this is going to be considered even. We get exactly the same as what we started with, definition of an even function. Next, for this one, again we're finding f of negative x. We put negative x in for all the x's and then we're going to simplify it. A negative to an odd power is going to remain here, so you get f of negative x is equal to negative 6x to the fifth that's going to be, this negative is going to come out and multiply by that negative, that's going to give you a plus. So you get negative 6x to the fifth plus x to the third. Well, I know that for sure it's not equal to the original one, so I know it's definitely not going to be even. Let's see what happens if we factor out a negative. So f of negative x, we're going to factor out a negative, and we get 6x to the fifth minus x to the third. Okay, so if we get that with a negative on the outside, that this on the inside is exactly the same as the original one. So what I have going on here is I have a negative times my f of x. So if I have f of negative x equals negative f of x, that's the definition for odd. This is an odd function. Then this one, f of x is x squared plus x. Okay, if I put in f of negative x, I get negative x for both the x's, and then I want to simplify it. Okay, now if I simplify this, I get positive x squared minus x. That's not the same as the original one, and even if I tried to pull out a negative there, I would get the signs to switch here. I would end up with a negative in front of the x squared. So no matter what, I'm not going to have it look like negative times f of x either. So this one uh, is going to be nothing. It's going to be neither. It's not even and it's not odd. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do the same test. We're putting in a negative x in for x. And you get absolute value of 2 times negative x over negative x. Now, if I simplify this, what I get is I end up getting uh, here uh, the, the, the negative that's on top of here, the absolute value is going to get rid of that negative. So I get the absolute value of 2x over negative x. Now, this is exactly the same as the original one. The only difference now is I have an extra negative out in front of that. So this is the same thing as negative f of x. So therefore, this one is also going to be odd. For this one, I want to put in, for the fraction, negative x into both the x's, top and bottom. I get negative x on top, negative x squared plus 1 on the bottom. And if I simplify this, the negative squared is going to give me positive x squared plus 1. This one looks just like the original one, except I have an extra negative in it. So this one and this one, that's another case where you have negative times your original f of x. Because of that, this one is another one that's going to be odd. Now let's check the last one. The last one here, we're going to put in f of negative x top and bottom, negative x on top, negative x we put in on the bottom, and if we simplify it, we get negative x over negative x cubed plus 1. Now, that's not the same as the original one we started with either, and let's see what, what happens if we try and pull out a negative from the bottom. Okay, if we do that, we'll just do it up, up here. Pull out a negative, we get positive x cubed minus 1. So even if the negatives cancel, what we're left with is we end up with x cubed minus 1 and we're supposed to have negative, or we're supposed to have x cubed plus 1. So because of that, this one, even if we cancel out those negatives, here we go, we cancel those out, we get that. That's not the same as the original one, it's not going to be even. And this down here is supposed to be a, a, 
a plus, not a minus. So because of that, this is going to be neither. 